I know the whole situation with B-Hop is pretty much aired out already, but I thought I'd show that he is definitely lying by showing his contradictions and comments and Discord uh, posts alone, which shows that he's trying to save face really hard. His credibility was already pretty much destroyed before this, but I think given the situation seriousness of what he's being accused of, it shows how far he'd go to pretend that he's in the right, and that should scare you enough. First off, in this image, he admits to the fact that I either left the server or got banned, and never mentions me blocking him at all. In this picture, however, he claims to have offered for me to explain what the issue was, and even offered me beta access to test what I thought the issue was before anything happened. But there's also a third story. He says he was washing his face because it was 3 a.m. and he saw it, but he couldn't reply because he was washing his face. But there's also a fourth version as well. In this one, he never had a chance to see anything, and I blocked him before he could say anything to me at all. But I'm not even done yet. He says he would never use any of these things against me that I talked about that he was going to use. But here he is posting the chat logs in his own Discord, and then saying he's going to expose me right after. Which makes it seem like he's going to use that as ammo, doesn't it? And if not, why would you send that to everybody in the Discord for your cheat site's messages? As if it couldn't get any worse for him already, here is him claiming that I'm acting this way out of jealousy. And then not only that, but saying that he's a politician and nobody will get over on him. But wait, it gets even worse than that. Here he is implying that I'm lying and saying he will lie back. I think that might tie into him saying that he's a politician. What do you think? To sum everything up, I just wouldn't trust a guy that's willing to use someone else's mother's condition as a way to get back at them as ammo and telling them they have a chance to rectify everything before they post it publicly. Why would you trust anybody that would do anything like that? And why would you trust anybody's word saying that they're not doing suspicious things? They're already doing suspicious things with me, and all I tried to do was talk to him about everything.